vlog on my drive to work, where uh, a lot of my best ideas come out. <laughs> uh, I was driving along the other day, and I suddenly thought, well, I was thinking about the Fast and Furious franchise, I think, how can they keep this fresh? What, what new ideas do they have? And I suddenly, out of the blue, thought, cross it, we've gone in 60 seconds. Like, the two seem made to match. I mean, they're both car films, obviously, you know, big, uh, big part of them is the, is the cars themselves. They both have a strong central theme of uh, protecting a family and, you know, sticking by them. They both involve car chases, which often end in a CGI physics-defying stunt. Gone in 60 Seconds even features a street race with street racing cars in its first scene. They're both even set in the same place, namely LA, which means you could have some sort of past history. I don't know, maybe uh, Memphis has a stolen Dominic's car in, in the past or something, and there's some thing there, and they've got a team up now, and it's a bit heated or something. There's, there's no crossover actors, so it could easily be done. I think that would be such a cool, like, massive load of characters to add into the thing, and then make a little cinematic universe, because you've got another cinematic universe. And you could call it Fast in 60 Seconds, to combine both titles, or Fast in 10 Seconds, to reference the 10 second cars that they talk about. Um, although Fast in 10 Seconds... Maybe that'd take a bit of working out. Fast in 60 Seconds, they're not clever titles, just Fast 5 and Furious 6, whatever they're called. Um, so yeah, Fast in 60 Seconds, that's what I pitched to you.